interview excerpt with Mark Kirchenbaum, Math and Intuition in Paper Folding and Design. This is Leila Torres of OrigamiSpirit.com. To watch the full interview with Mark Kirchenbaum, see other exclusive interviews and video tutorials, sign up for Origamigos, the Origami Spirit membership. So to do a little introduction, uh, Mark um, Kirchenbaum, I have known him for a long time via Origami USA. We both belong to the same organization. And uh, I have been following his career for or his origami career because he has a couple of careers, uh, origami, his origami passion for a long time. He has a lovely website, which is called... Oh, Sakura Origami. Sakura Origami, sakuraorigami.com. You can check all the publications that he's uh, done. Uh, you said that, that you like to approach the designs of your models as a math problem. How much math do you use? Do you use any in the, in the designing of your um, models? Oh, as little as possible. <laughs> I really, I mean, it's funny. I, I remember this is years ago. Uh, I don't know if anyone is familiar with Eric Domain. He's the, you know, you have the, um, he won the, uh, you know, I guess you could say the genius award. <laughs> Um, and he was fascinated with us, this chessboard that I came up with, and he wanted to just pick my brain. At the same time, I was very excited to learn about what he was doing, okay. and he told me that I have a very mathematical mind, which I found sort of, sort of interesting, because I, you know, I, I was never great with the um, mechanics of math, uh -huh. but, you know, in terms of, uh, you know, like computational things, just all that, but in terms of, um, you know, I guess higher level things and being able to attack a problem that I was pretty good at. Uh -huh. And, you know, there is an element of that in, in when I'm designing things. Uh, but, I mean, I feel fortunate that I, I started origami at a young age and it's a lot of it's intuitive at this point. Mm -hmm. and there, there is, you know, I guess you could say an approach I take when I, when I design things and I have, you know, an expectation of what's going to work and what doesn't but I try to avoid hardcore mathematics if I can, but it does come up. Uh -huh. um, probably uh, most recently, uh, my, my wife has been joking after a while in my Pure Land book, which is supposed to be simple models. Uh -huh. Sure, I was using a ton of mathematics just to figure out how to get everything to align nicely. Uh -huh. Not perfectly, perfectly satisfactory, but I would just uh, constantly solving problems. <laughs> That's great. It's interesting and it's something that I would like we all to think about, no? About the mathematics. I have a sister who's a mathematician and he loves numbers and she did computer science and mathematics as a mm -hmm. degree. And I always saw that my, uh, you know, always mathematics gave me this sense of stress, you know, like I have to mm -hmm. perform, I have to take an exam, I have to... Uh, come up with these answers, but at the bottom of the, the thing, I, I didn't think that I was too bad for math. I, you know, I could deal with it. But once I became more interested in origami, I realized that I do have that mathematic mind in a very, mm. as you say, in a very intuitive, intuition um, way. So, so that's something that I like to highlight from what you just said, no, that there is not only the mathematical mind that uh, needs to do the numbers, but the mathematical mind that can feel and follow and solve some problems. Yeah, and in origami, there's there's no necessarily right answer. There's just different answers. Right, right, and exactly. So it's it's a great way of exploring, you know, I guess concepts and you know, seeing relationships of shapes. It's fascinating stuff. And if you're good at math and you could actually apply it to it, you could see a lot of things in, in a clear way. Right. I mean, the problem with mathematics as it, you know, as it's taught in schools is that you just see a lot of numbers and some symbols, but when you actually apply it, which is what's often happening in origami, it starts to come to life and you see it. Exactly. It makes exactly. things easier. Yeah. So you mentioned your book of uh, 
pure and simple origami. Mm -hmm. Do you have a copy there with you by any chance? Yes. That you can show us the 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 cover and yeah. we, we can take a look. I, I, this, I haven't this bought copy, that. Yeah, yeah. Oh, hopefully at least can be seen. Oh, there we go. It's a little, this literally came in the mail today. I finally got my hardcover version. Very excited about this one. Um, yeah, I haven't gotten my copy yet, but I, one of the reasons I, I, I would buy that book alone is because of this little car. Oh, yes. <laughs> Mark happened to teach it uh, in the Paul Space Convention. We both were teachers there. Oh, we're teachers. And, and I, I just adore the car. I just, Thank you. It's, it's great. To watch the full interview with Mark Kirchenbaum, see other exclusive interviews and video tutorials, sign up for Origamigos, the Origami Spirit membership. Visit the Origamigos page by clicking on the upper right corner of this video or follow the link that you find in the description of this video.